Hi everyone, Joe for Jaspies, CaseBreaks.com, coming at you with 2023 Panini Contenders Football. Six box, half case, pick your team 11. Half case from a fresh case. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. Appreciate you. Douglas, you ended up with double last spot mojo with the Bengals and the Vikings. Everyone else won their way in. There's some people who bought their spot straight up as well. Appreciate everybody. However you got in, thank you. We got a half case from a fresh case. Let's pop this open. Um, second half of this break is already in the store and pretty close to single digits. I'm going to be putting a lot of breaks into fillers after this break. So if you want to get your team straight up without having to, uh, you know, to do a filler, let's fill up some breaks straight up if you'd like. If not, we'll put them into fillers and we'll fill them up that way. What's going on here? This flat is stuck here. taped weird, I guess. Right, I don't know what it is. All right. Let's create six over here. Let's create six over here. There you go. That's pretty, a little, more, a little more difficult than we thought. I thought here. All right. So we'll go one, two, three for the left side, and then four, five, six for the right side right here. I got the die rolling off the camera. There you go, two. So left side right there. Support today to the Cubs aren't looking for rentals, so it does shoot down. Oh, no. Let's be real, Rex. I don't. I don't think. I don't think at this. You know. I don't think the uh, Cubs are ever in contention for those players anyway, right? Yeah, maybe if they're close to the playoffs. But I think. I think that writing was. That just confirms what we've already. Uh, reports confirm what we already have known. And Nate wants to get that top chrome jumbo filled. Remember, that's going to go into a filler fairly soon. So, um, so get get your teams now before we end up doing a thirty spot filler. It might just be easier to sell out the teams that are just still remaining. Here's Andre Carter, the second for the Vikings. Last spot mojo strikes again, seventy percent of the time. Last spot mojo hits all the time. settings here. It seems a little bright. Let me roll off the brightness just a tad. It's a little bit better. It doesn't look so washed out. Alright. There we go. Zach Harrison, rookie ticket autograph. Yeah, doesn't make one of the Jays. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I think it seems likely that the, uh, it seems more likely that the Jays would make some trades for, well, I don't know about Bichette. He's on the IL right now. For like the second or third time this year, so maybe he would not be a big candidate for some teams, or at least won't get a big of a haul back. 
This is for the Eagles, Tanner McKee for Travis. And I guess since the Mets are playing a lot better, they're they're they've got a wild card spot currently. Daniel Jones for the Giants, that'll be for Travis. So it seems unlikely that they would they would start moving players now. I mean unless you're unless you can move uh, someone like Pete Alonso for for an upgrade, which I suppose is possible. Here's Darling Thomas the fifth. 64 out of 75. Cardinals. It's for Charles. I feel like that's difficult, though, trying to move like someone like Pete Alonzo and then get a better return back. Is that possible? I'm not sure. Elijah Higgins. 8 out of 18. Nice low number there. Going to Charles and the Cardinals. We also got a CJ Stroud base card. These are nice. That's going to go to Jeremy Port. And we got uh, one for Travis, a Bryce Young. Be looking forward to see how he does. New coaching staff and everything this season. All right, box one, done. Last year's MLB trading deadline was kind of quiet, quieter last year, last summer. But maybe we're going to see a little more action in the next uh, in the next week or so. I would think. Uh, I would think next probably Monday. I would think. Wednesday's the deadline. I feel like teams are going to give themselves this week. And it's only Tuesday. They're going to give their themselves, especially teams on the border, borderline teams are going to wait like this year, this year, this week, um, to kind of evaluate where they're at. Here's Brian Robinson Jr. Veteran ticket autograph for Greg and the uh, almost said Nationals. I got baseball in the brain. Commanders. Dodgers came out and said uh, that they were looking for impact arms. Arm? Something impactful. That's 149, DJ Moore. I guess it could mean a closer, could mean a starter. Who knows? They can get Garrett Crochet, put him back in the bullpen. Who knows? It's Kenny McIntosh, 33 out of 149. Playoff ticket autograph for Devin in Seattle. Here's Osiris Torrance. That's gonna be for Buffalo. That's gonna be for Travis and the Buffalo Bills. There's Israel uh, Abanikanda for the Jets. That'll be for Tristan. There's Braden Willis. It's for Anthony and the Niners. Will Mallory, rookie ticket autograph for the Blue Horseshoes. That's going to go to Jeremy Port. Charles with the Bears will get that divisional ticket, DJ Moore. What do you mean? Is there blockbuster trade talk for Luis Robert and Michael Kopech? I have not heard. I mean, who, who's, who's reporting this? This is the time of the season where you have to be 
have to be careful about where we're getting these rumors. You know, a lot of social media accounts trying to get clicks. A lot of journalists trying to get clicks. I mean, Lou Baba Dodge, I'd rather try to chase after, you know, if the Dodgers are chasing after an outfielder. I would love to chase after Randy Arozarena instead. He's going to be clutch. He's clutch in the playoffs. We've seen that. You know, he's starting to heat up. Here's Garrett Williams, rookie ticket autograph for the Cardinals. Uh, I, I usually don't take put too much stock into Bob Nightingale's reporting. What is he What is he suggesting? Redemption is Jackson Smith and Jigba. It's gonna be for the uh, Seahawks, Devin. Got the Seahawks straight up. Bob Nightingale was pretty plugged in maybe like 20 years ago. You know, but nowadays, nowadays you really don't put a lot of, I mean, if, I mean, if it happens, it happens, but I don't put a lot of stock in what he's got to say. Rookie ticket autograph, Mike Jones Jr. Saying that Dodger and Tox with Sox. But like for who does he have anybody on the other side? Trevor Lawrence, the Jaguars. And here's Bryce Young winning ticket for Carolina. I mean, I could report that. Joe Jaspi reports that the Dodgers are interested in, in Luis Robert and Michael Kopeck, just like the rest of the league. And Garrett Crochet. And Tariq Skubal. Here's Nesta Jade Silvera for my Raiders. That's going to be for Jared and my Raiders. There's Amari Demarcado, rookie autograph for the Cardinals, Charles. And a winning ticket, C.J. Stroud. No, he's just saying the farm was stacked for it. Right, I mean, so Bob Nightingale connecting dots just like the rest of us. I could have told you that. The problem is Tampa Bay is going to want our best talent for our Zerania. The Sox are just unloading. But Tampa Bay is kind of stuck in that, in that it's not like they could leverage the fact that, oh, because they don't pay, they, they don't, they can't and won't pay guys, right? Every team knows that. So they can just sit there and go, all right, well, you know, other teams can sit there and go, well, you're not going to pay these guys. So eventually they're going to walk. So get something for them now. This is what happened with Tyler Glass now. You know, I, I don't think the Dodgers had to trade too much to get Tyler Glass now. I think Arozarena might be in that same sort of, similar sort of bucket. White Sox, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what the White Sox is, what, what they're doing. There's Kenny Pickett to 199 Steelers, and we got Keandre Cobram. That's Jared with the Chiefs. There's Quindell Johnson. That's for the Bears, that's for Charles. <coughs> Kenny Pickett will go to Michael and the Steelers. 
I don't know if the I'm not sure if the White Sox are unloading per se, but I think maybe just general front office incompetence may just lead them lead other teams to better deals. There's JL Skinner. Skinner. That's going to be for Eric Clicks and the Denver Broncos. There's Andre Carter. This ticket sub die cut autograph, 21 out of 25. That's another Viking for Douglas. Last spot mojo. Saying the Dodgers have already spoken to the Sox about it. I mean, what does that entail? Does Bob Nightingale expand upon that? And Sam Laporta. So here's uh, another Viking for Douglas. The cracked ice, Ivan Pace Jr. It's 18 out of 23. But this is a nice one right here. Sam Laporta, playoff ticket autograph to 149. Joe Downing with the Lions. Two more boxes to go. Yeah, spoken to about unless unless we get more detail, more specifics than that, that could be anything. Could be like a phone call. This is not necessarily that a trade is imminent. I mean, a lot of GMs putting a lot of phone calls to a lot of teams. Whether it's a formal offer, formal trade offer, that would be a little that would be a little bit different. Right, a source familiar with. I mean, it could be a phone call. Yeah, it's like, yeah, we talked to the White Sox. Dodgers have also talked to the Tigers. Dodgers talked to a lot of teams. Dodgers have probably put a phone call into the Rays. Here's Andre Carter. Yeah, I mean, you know, I take that with a group. With, with, I think my thoughts on this is, is uh, I take that report with a grain of salt. Another Bryce Young, CJ Stroud rookie card. Nice. It'll be for the Texans. And the Bryce Young will go to Travis and Carolina. Oh, would you take a chance on Luis Robert? Um, if that's our only option, yeah, sure. Here's Zach Kuntz for uh, Tristan and the Jets. I mean, but if there's other options available, I'd rather go with, say, Randy Arazarania, who can fill that outfield spot and would probably be, I can rely on him to be more, to be healthier. And he's been a proven quantity in, in a, you know, in the playoffs as well, which is really, Kevin with the Jags was really the forefront of what the Dodgers are gearing up towards and nothing else. Nice, numbered Bryce Young, conference ticket, 30 out of 99. Obviously, with, with no autographs for Bryce Young and C.J. Stroud, believe it or not, those those uh, rookie cards and those numbered cards start to get a lot more valuable than, than they normally would, even for the top tier elites. Yeah, and then all and then of course, yeah, he's always hurt, Nate. That that's that's the thing with Luis Robert. When he's healthy, he's hot, but it's not going to do me any good. It's not going to do the Dodger any good if Luis Robert, if we trade assets for Luis Robert and then he's injured, you know, in late September, you know, into October. And I suppose anyone can get injured, right? But there's a history with Luis Robert, so that's, that's kind of, kind of makes it a little less, uh, 
a little less enthusiastic about him. Here's Jessen and the Rams. I mean, unless it, then and then it all depends on who you trade. Who are you trading for Luis Robert? You know, if if the Dodgers move the entire farm system for uh, for Luis Robert, I mean, that might be not the way to go. But you know, if we can trade second tier prospects, here's Keaton Mitchell for the Ravens. You know, a handful of those for Luis Robert and Michael Kopech and Garrett Crochet, then that's something else. Garrett Crochet, I'm also a little skeptical about too, because he's had career highs in innings as well. Anthony Richardson, supernatural insert going to Jeremy Port. Last box coming up. Darren, what's going on? Now remember, after this, I'm putting a bunch of breaks into fillers, so get your team straight up. Yeah, Acuna Jr. might be might get that might get that tag as well, right? Just don't think no fall of his own. Acuna Jr. looks like he's pretty fit, but but you know maybe the genetics of his body, you know, has just, does just betrays him. Do the Patriots have any autos and contenders besides Malik Cunningham? That's a good question. Let's pull up a checklist. And we'll find out. Uh, they have Ramondre Stevenson autographs. They've got Andre Tippett, Dion Branch autographs, Bailey Zappi autographs, rookie ticket variations. They've got Malik Cunningham, Marte Mapu, and Isaiah Bolden. So, a number of autographs. That pack of regular toppers. Man, would not be not be on the hand team here today. Oh, nice! Optic football next week. Yeah, we should have a bunch of that. But a lot of breaks on the website right now, jaspyscasebreaks.com. Running out of Chase the Mantle entries, keep working on those. And a lot of breaks going into fillers after this, so keep your eye out for that as well. Oh, or get your team straight up. Yeah, Adam's saying a lot of Isaiah Bolden. Here's Braden Willis. Rookie ticket autograph for the Niners. That's gonna go to Anthony. For the Bears, we got Gervon Dexter Sr. That's going to be for Charles. Tank Bigsby, 47 out of 75. On card autograph for Kevin and the Jaguars. Nice, right, sharp looking conference ticket card. And a CJ Stroud number card, nice. Divisional ticket, 141 out of 149. Someone look that up, how much is this going for on the secondary market? Probably a lot more than any other ordinary out of 149, I would think. That's gonna go to Jeremy and the Texans who won that in the filler. Should easily cover the spot of the filler. Noah Sewell. Linebacker, rookie autograph for Charles and the Bears. Yeah, who are gonna who are the short prints in this? I have a for you. Make a video of yourself. Before all and Josh Van, rookie ticket autograph for Carolina. That's gonna be Travis and the Panthers. And that's that boys and girls, that's the break. Second half in the store right now, eventually going to be in a filler after this, so get in on it. All right, now, let's flip over here. I, I, those two might be 
Yeah, it might be one of the shorter printed ones. I think I pulled a Davon A chain redemption in the last case. We still got the second half of this case, too. All right, we're also chasing the mantle in this break. Good luck, everybody. Let's gather everybody's names, 1 through 32. Let's roll it, randomize it. Four and a four, eight the hard way. Name on top. We'll be chasing the mantle. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I said eight the hard way, right? Yep, once more. Good luck, everybody. Fingers crossed. Drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. The winner is Jared with a spot that you won the filler. Congrats. After eight, you're the winner. You're chasing the mantle and the $3,000 of travel credit as well to pick up that mantle. You can come visit us. Say hi. Nice break, ladies and gentlemen. Second half in the store. I think that is a chase the mantle break as well. We are running out of those chase the mantle breaks, those entries. The last 20 are going to be in two giant, you know, kind of high-end, high-priced mixers. So right now with the picker teams, you might still be able to find some pretty inexpensive entries or spots to buy to try to get yourself an entry to chase the Mickey Mantle. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Congrats again to Jared. Thanks everyone for getting in. I'll see you next time for the next football break. Bye-bye.